So in this video, we will be checking out the CP view. So CP view is a built in utility from checkpoint to more or less show statistics or historical data or even current data regarding performance, CPU, memory, disk, top connections, uh, policy, how many cores. So there is a lot of cool information within this. CPU is used within troubleshooting when it comes to like performance issues, but it's not a monitor system. So if you want to monitor your, your checkpoint gateways or checkpoint management servers, you need to do this via SNMP or even better to use Skylane. And this is more telemetry. So it's a lot better, more, more detailed data. But let's check the CP view. So the CP view is something that is built in within the gateways management station, uh, MDS, uh, VSX. So it's built in within all the Gaia OS and it has been built in since R77. So it's quite old. CP view has been improved from time to time to add more data. So it's now it's a really powerful tool. So if you want to use TPUs, you log in with CLI to the gateway or to the management station. And I will zoom a bit and we do expert. And then we just type CP view. And if you just type CP view, this will be real time. So this is how the system is right now. So here you can see like the CPUs, the percentage of them, the memory, how much traffic it's going, more or less zero. So if I put like a speed test, meaning I push some traffic here, we can see that uh, there are more traffic, 188 megs, and we're using 100% of one CPU. It's not only like the speed you can check, you can actually check the system info, how many core Excel instances do we have? When was the policy installed? What is the uptime? You can check the network so you can actually see specific, like the interfaces, but even the traffic on the specific interface. So currently we have zero makes on all, but let's remake the speed test again. Then we can see like, okay, we having traffic between Ethernet zero and uh, Ethernet one. So you have RX and TX. So you have receive and transmit. You can also see the top protocols, the top connections. So it's quite powerful. You can see the CPU if it's going um, how much of the CPU is a specific port is using or how which connection is using a lot of the CPU. So if we restart this again, we can see if this connection is using like uh, some of the CPU. So it's quite nice and you can check like the specific instance instances. So here we see uh, instance one, we have more CPU utilization. Here we have like zero. So uh, you can check spikes, thread spikes, uh, but you can also see uh, the software blades. Currently we haven't enabled anything, but here you can see like the last update build for a specific blades, if it's in use. You can check some um, VPN details, uh, SSL inspection. I mean, there is a bunch of things that you can actually check here. Power supplies, fan, BIOS. It goes even deeper if you really want. But this is something that you should check in like a production environment. It doesn't hurt to run CP, CP view. This is just a monitoring tool. Some is not enabled, but for example, here in advanced cluster Excel, we can see information regarding our cluster state. So we can see um, which gateway is active standby. We can see um, failovers. There is 
some neat information here when it comes to specifically when it comes to troubleshooting. I use this, I use this quite a lot. But having said this, this is not the replacement for a monitoring tool. You still need a monitoring tool because this information is on the specific box. What if the box dies? Then you don't have the information. And you don't have any thresholds or alerts in this one. So you actually need to have some sort of monitoring. And either you do it with SNMP, that's like the basic monitoring, or you do it with telemetry. And in checkpoints, way to do it with telemetry, it's the sky lane. So this is something that you should use on your on your environment. It requires like um, uh, Prometheus and Grafana to get real graphs, but it's it's really nice. I mentioned this is the real time information. You can actually do like this. So if we do Q for quit, we type CPView and then minus T. Minus T allows us to go into historical data. So right now it's uh, starting from 1806, uh, 29th of December, and then I can do plus to move forward. So I can see how was the box uh, doing for a specific time. And I mean, if you do plus and minus, it goes quite slow because it's only moving one minute at a time, but you can do T. So if you press T again, while you're in here, when you already started the application with CPU minus T and press T again, then you can put in timestamp. So here we can put in December 30, 2023, uh, 18, 30, 00. And now we will jump directly into that specific time. So this is something that I use when it comes to troubleshooting for more or less stuff that I haven't put up real monitoring to. Because you shouldn't need this for most things so having having said that when it comes to monitoring you don't really monitoring exactly everything so cp view can give you other information as well and this is enabled by default so this is something that you have something that you can go back and check and it's really useful but i think that's it for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one take care